Hey, my name is Bram and I have a dream that I wanted to travel to India with my van of 40 years old. Want to know what I'm doing? Check out this video. Yeah. This is my transit. I'm traveling with it. So welcome to another Transit Travels. In my last video, you saw me traveling down to Austria. And I lived there for more than three weeks in Meierhofen. After this video, <laughs> I lived there for another week or something. Yeah, it was so beautiful there. I made so many new friends. It was hard to leave it and just continue traveling. While I was there for another week, I did some more hiking, I did some more rock climbing, and I did some more snowboarding. My favorite activity here in Austria is for sure hiking. There are so many paths leading everywhere. It's so, so beautiful, unbelievable. I could walk for days here. Tom, the guy where I was staying with, had this bed with a friend, and if he loses the bed, he needs to ski in his underwear. <laughs> and guess what happens? He's such a crazy guy. Now, I'm standing here at this ruin of an abandoned house. Why, you may ask, why are you standing in the ruin of an abandoned house? Because welcome to the Halloween special of Transit Travels. I know Halloween is already past, but better late than never, you know? <laughs> Actually, I just wanted to have a normal Halloween party on Halloween. But yeah, that's not possible in these times, let's not talk about that. So I went to search for something that made me scared, that made me something that made me really uncomfortable to be. When I was back in Austria, I found this old, abandoned, scary looking hut. I went in to see if there were any ghosts. Everything from the person that was living there was still there. Even the bank cards. Look at the expire date. After checking the whole house, I could not find any ghosts. So I checked the basement. I had bad luck, I could not find any ghosts, so I tried another abandoned hut. To be honest, you could not scare me so easily. <laughs> These houses are museums for me. And it's always sad to see if people are mistreating the house. It's beautiful to see how the people lived back in the days. What I tried next to scare myself was to go in this dark tunnel that I found next to this river. If I turned around and looked at the entrance of the tunnel, it looked like this. Sadly enough, it was just a sewer. Oh. 
Also these two attempts to find something that scares me in these abandoned buildings. I needed to leave Austria and quickly. Because first everything was sunny and everything was warm and nice. And then suddenly BAM! Winter. Everywhere snow and it was freezing inside of my van. It was really hard to sleep and cook in there. Besides that the snow and the salt will kill my van really quickly. And I love my van so much, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I left Austria and drove into Slovenia. There I drove straight into Ljubljana. I wanted to see and try to visit a big city. Before I could leave out of Austria, I quickly needed to change my brakes. It was really needed. Ljubljana. Uh, what can I say? I found myself playing with the birds and sitting in the park. Yeah, I'm absolutely not a city guy. I really love nature. So next time, yeah, and I'm just gonna avoid big cities. But I think this alternative art project is pretty cool. After this big, busy city, I swinged past the castle. Stupid jokes, stupid jokes. I needed to swim in nature again. So I went to this hot water spring. The water was really nice and some locals told me that the water was really healing. After all of that, it was still pretty cold in Slovenia. It was already better than in Austria, but still, I live in a small van without any heating system. It's pretty hard to live in there when it's really cold outside. So I need to drive more to the south. I drove into Croatia, and here, man, the nature here in Croatia is really beautiful, but there is garbage everywhere. It's terrible to see. I can almost cry. Come on Croatia, it's 2020, keep your shit together. Every time when I'm hiking or walking, I try to collect as much as garbage as possible. But this is the next level, it's, there's so much garbage here. Back in Austria, it was so beautiful, there was no garbage to be found in nature. But here in Croatia, why, there's, it's everywhere. I always think about nature and I always try to protect as much as possible. Come on Croatia. To come back to the Halloween special, I still need to find something that scares me. Okay, the garbage is scaring me, but I'm not counting that for now. And I think I have found the perfect thing that could scare me. Okay. The thing that I'm gonna do next is pretty illegal and it's really dangerous. So don't try it at home, don't do it yourself, it's, it's not worth it. But I'm pretty experienced with it, so yeah, I'm gonna visit this abandoned airfield from World War II and apparently there's still explosive in the ground. I'm doing this, so you don't have to do it. And yeah, let's go for it, shall we?
this was the largest underground airport of the world. All the airplanes could just roll in there and were protected against airstrikes. I was wrong, the bunker was not used in World War II, but the bunker was used in 1991 for the Yugoslavian war. It was way too dark to film in there, but I could take pictures. The bunker was blown up in 1992. The explosion was so big that there came smoke out of the tunnels for more than six months. These tunnels are almost four kilometers long and could house more than a thousand people for working on the planes. You cannot scare me easily, but this was scary, yes. I thought first it was maybe two or three tunnels, but it's big in there and the noise is coming from everywhere and you have so many different noises and the whole time I thought somebody was following me, but it's just the sound of your own feet, but echoing between all the tunnels and all the walls. So it sounds that somebody's in front of you, somebody's in the back of you, and wow, that was, that was scary. Finally, something that could scare me. So we have a good Halloween special. Yes, we found it. Nice. Besides that scary, it's also a museum. This is, I cannot imagine doing this or living here and working on these airplanes. This is, this is a piece of history and wow. But remember, don't come here. I came here so you don't have to. So, yeah. I still hear weird noises coming out of there. Ah, it's so spooky. <laughs> and just at the moment I wanted to leave, this happened. Yeah. Busted. The police could give me a really big fine for this, but I stayed friendly and they stayed friendly as well. So luckily, they just sent me away. Thank you. What an ending of this episode! I started off in Austria searching for the good weather and here in Croatia, here is the good weather! I'm now standing here on an island from Croatia called Vich and it's beautiful out here but again, garbage everywhere! I'm gonna stay here for a couple of days and I'm gonna clean this beach behind me I already started but there is way more out there and then in the meanwhile I'm gonna edit this video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and a comment down below with maybe some tips or questions. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. But for now, I hope you'll always see the light of stars, follow your dreams, and until next time YouTube, ciao!